Hey planner babes, today we're going to talk about how to plan in a teacher planner. But listen, if you're a teacher, this is not the episode for you. I am not a teacher. I do not know how to plan as a teacher. I'm sure you guys have a ton of things to plan for and I just don't even know how to begin how to do that. So this is not for teachers. This is for people who want to use the teacher layout because it's functional, but yet you're not a teacher. I'm going to show you how to do this. Now for this particular spread that we're going to create is this is going inside of my fitness planner in my overall planner. What I like to do with the teacher planner, it's super simple. All you need is a pen, the pages, and some box stickers. I got these box stickers off of Etsy. I will have these linked down below because I do like them. They're really good stickers. But you can use the happy planner stickers or whatever you have. Totally up to you. But what we're going to do is this is set up for a teacher. So it's got Monday through Friday and then there's nothing at the top. We're going to rework this. There's actually seven columns here. So we're going to make it Monday through Sunday. We're going to cover these up with boxes and have categories here. So really you don't, I mean, I know that I'm doing this as a fitness planner, but you don't need to have this as a fitness planner. Let's start with the purple. So what I do is I take a sticker and I just cover up where it says the days of the week. And there's little dotted lines right here. If you can't see, each day has little dotted lines. And so I try to line the box up just below those and try to keep it straight based off of those lines. Now, one thing you need to kind of think about before you dive into this is what five categories do I want to plan for? This could be an amazing catch-all planner. I've actually used it as a catch-all. And I've had like this one be the schedule for the week. So my work schedule, my kids schedule, my husband's schedule, things like that went here. Um, you could do meal plans and what your meals are going to be for the day. You could plan out any to-do list, maybe a cleaning schedule, tons of different options. So sit down, take you a piece of paper and kind of brainstorm what you want these to say. Now these stickers are a little bit lighter than the Happy Planner stickers. So what you can do, hold please, I gotta move some things, is take some white out go over the day with some white out and then put your sticker over it so then you won't see the day of the week under there because you can see them under these other ones and I'm honestly not super concerned about it so stickers are down now we're going to put the dates at the top so this is where your ink pen comes into play you can use stamps you can use markers um, just be cautious with markers and make sure that they don't bleed through so here we're going to start with Monday I don't know the dates yet. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You can use stickers up here if you have days of the week stickers. That works out great. But once I know um, the date starting Monday, I'll just write the date in beside each day of the week. So this first section, I am going to use it as my workout for the day. So I'm just going to write over here, workout. And then I'll write in what my workout was. And I'll probably do a little bit of journaling inside of here. Was it a good workout? Was it a bad workout? Did I push myself? Did I... Um, kind of lag through it and not really give a rat's butt you know what I mean kind of just some little notes this one we're going to do breakfast and lunch this one I'll do dinner and snacks so if I eat anything for breakfast I'll write it there and lunch goes in the same column and then dinner and snacks goes inside of this column and then this one we're going to do, I think I'm going to title it liquids. <laughs> Might not be the best. Maybe hydration. Let's do hydration. That feels a little more appropriate than liquids. So hydration. So this is where I can track how much coffee I drink. I always have coffee on the end. I actually drink entirely too much coffee. But I want to track how much coffee I'm drinking and also how much water I'm drinking. And if I have like a diet do or something else like that, I can put that inside of here. And then in this crooked sticker down here at the bottom, we're going to do 
um, let's just say journal. How does that sound? Now, if you want to decorate your teacher planner, you absolutely can. There are so many fun ways to decorate this. You can put little um, dot stickers down, like I've done top three priorities up here before, and then like the schedule, and do little dot stickers. You can have fun decorative stickers inside of here. You can cut stickers down and put them in here. However, for this particular spread, I'm actually not going to do that because I want to use this just for writing in. But again, feel free to decorate it if you want to decorate it. I'm going for the more functional side and I will put a few pictures of some teacher planners that I've done in the past so you guys can see what I mean by decorating it and give you some ideas and if you want more ideas Instagram is an amazing place to look at for this particular well for any of the layouts from the happy planner whether it's the teacher dashboard whatever um, because we all like to we all like to share our stuff over on Instagram but that's easy enough right we're just reworking the layout to make it work to give us Monday through Sunday, and then you have your different categories that you can plan for. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Let me know which layout you wanna see next. I already have a video up on how to use the dashboard layout. This is the teacher layout, so let me know what you guys wanna see next. In the next one, I will probably decorate it a little bit more than I did this spread. But until then, I will see you in the next video.